168, the actual tried and true episode 168. I uh, apologize for my stupidity. We love it. We stand it. It's the best thing in the world. Um, literally can't count. Save my life. I look back and I was like, I posted a video today. Uh, the day that you guys are seeing it. It was episode 167. I posted it in the wrong freaking order. Anyways, this is how out of it my brain is. How absolutely, positively destroyed I am as of late. But it is fine. We're going to be doing this. We are going to make it to price. Uh, and I would make the joke that, you know, the price must be right. But I think I actually made that joke last time. So we can't be using the same gush diggity darn jokes now, can we? Anyways, last episode we took on the 6th gym leader and beat. Jasmine, um, she had a level 41, and we were like, what, ya, yeah, what? And so I, I realized I trained to Price's level, because, you know, it's almost like Price should be the sixth gym leader or something, but that's, you know, besides the point. We have Gary, level 38, having a grand old time, our modest nature, lovely Gastrodon, with Surf, Zap Cannon, Dark Void, and Cut. We then have... Taylor with Shield, Dust, Thunder, Bolt with the Jizz, PP, Maxed. Uh, return, Thundershock, and Natural Gift. We have Lazy Larry, our slow start, freaking Snorlax with Slash, Salakoff, Night Slash, and Fly. We have Nickname with Trua. Yes, we got Slow Star and Trua on the team. Yeah, woohoo! With Thunder Punch, Psycho Cut, Horn Attack, and Thunder Wave. Then we have Seth, who is currently paralyzed. So we gotta go fix that. It's, but it'll be easy. With Trouble Kick, Dragon Claw, Fairy Cutter, Magnitude. And then we got Sniper with Crab Hammer, Dizzy Punch, Night Slash, and Drain Punch as the move sets. Honestly, I do like the way that our team is laid out. What's going on? How things are happening? But we do have some, you know, things to sort out, which is the fact that I can't count. And we have three episodes still before you guys get to kill. Because what this is 168, then I have 169 and 170. So. Because I actually have way more time than I thought I did, I am going to go through my TMs. I was trying to hold off so much because I was like, oh my god, you guys are going to kill this. And like, then it's going to be bad for me. And blah, blah, blah. Like making excuses. And I'm just like, now I'm like, wow, John, you literally had so much time. You could have had Dragon Dance. You could have had Toxic. You could have had like a bunch of cool moves. And you waited for the kill episode, the day wasn't even close to happening. Um, so good job, me. Um, that's always fun to see. Um, now, I laugh because we literally don't have much anyways. So, like, there was really no point in me complaining. But, you know what? It's fine! Uh, we only had Blaze Kick and literally nobody kicks except for freaking our true hot one can learn it. Ah, uh, this game likes to make a mockery of me, and I don't know how I quite feel about that. Like, I mean, have you guys ever had that? Where, like, just stuff does not want to go the way it is intended? It's, like, really hilarious to me. It's like, yes, we're going to make sure that anything that you say is not going to happen. So, uh, good luck. And it's just like, I guess we're here now. I guess this is what we're doing. And it's just like... Not my intention or the plan at all, but okay, game. Like, if this is your plan, I guess this is the plan that we're forced to embark on. The journey that we're forced to have. But, you know what? We're, we're, we're getting... You guys are gonna kill a Mon, right? And, like, I feel like this is gonna be, awkwardly enough, probably the toughest Elite for. Because the way that I actually go about things and the way... Oh. I should actually check how many Pokemons I have. Because our type diversity? Garbage. Our, like, we have a lot of garbage. I love the team, right? The team and the Pokemon that we have, they're fine. 
the abilities and what they're capable of because of their abilities, that's the not fine portion that we're trying to figure out, right? Because obviously, if I were out here being like, so uh, we're actually like trash because uh, we don't have good abilities, I'd be like, I'd be straight up lying my butt off to you guys. Because that's like, Oh wow! I just looped, and I went in a weird loop. Okay, what I mean to say is, if I li if I was saying that my Pokemon are bad, then I'd be lying. But because it's the abilities that make them bad, uh, that's what it is. Aerial Ace, hey! I want to investigate. Actually, we are gonna investigate. You know what? No harm in investigating. What? TM25. Who can learn TM25? We got. Nobody! Woo! Yas Queen! Uh, nobody can learn the good thing. Okay. Oh boy, sorry I bumped into you. Oh my god, did I like hurt you? Please don't cry. Take this. Here's strength. Remember when you were complaining and wondering where strength was? It was right here the whole time. You could have really just gotten it for your Storlax or anything, but it's okay, right? Like, there's no worries, right? Because you have it now and you can teach your Storlax now, right? It's like, but, but do I really care about it now? No. Are we, what are we what are we catching over here? Here's the thing. I don't mind that one bit. I will take Teddy Ursa. We we've seen what it does and how it acts before. I mean, we've probably seen most of these folks one and how they act before or like because I've probably used most of the Pokedex by this point. Um, speaking of using most of the Pokedex, how are you guys excited for Scarlet and Ah uh, Shoot? Are you guys excited for Scarlet and Violet? Um, and what do you? I'm killing yes. I'm not risking that. Um, and like, how do you feel that's gonna go? I think Scarlet and Violet is gonna do well in a lot of manifests. Although. Um, I have not done much looking into this game, so correct me if I am wrong. What it sounds like is that they're not going to scale. And if they do that, that is a massive, massive hit and a massive blow to the game in and of entirety. Because, like, I get that, you know, you want the game to, like, be easier, blah, blah, blah. But, like, if you're making a game open world... Where you can explore anything. You could run in. Like in a true open world game. You can run into stuff you're not supposed to at the time. Right? Like. But. Are are they. Like. It becomes a. What are they going for kind of moment. Again. I have not seen any of the leaks. And please. 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 Don't spoil it for me. Because I want to do stuff blind like I did for Sword and Shield. But, I, but I, I've seen like two leaks, okay? But I, I won't go into, go into detail about them. But I think in my, in my head, I'm like, if you are going to not make the game linear, or not, excuse me, I'm going off the rails because it's 1245. Anyways, um, if you're going to make your game, right, and you're going to make it open world, there we go. then scaling has to exist to a point, right? Now, 100%, it can go the Dark Souls route, right? And even though Dark Souls is considered an open, open world game, it is. And there, But there's an actual storyline, a thing that you're supposed to follow in order to get the dev's optimal experience. And the game pushes you in such way. Um, for example, in Dark Souls 1, you cannot progress past the um, the wall of Sense Fortress and into our, our whatever, Lon Anor Londo, 
without beating both the gargoyles and the queen. Not the queen. I don't know why I called her the queen. She's not a queen by any stretch of the ima imagination. Well, whatever. Um, I can't remember her name, uh, clearly, if I'm not, you know, making that point clear and evident. Um, starts with the letter Q. It's probably why I don't remember it. I was going to call it a quag. She's Quagsire now, I guess. I am tired. I don't, I, I'm not going to know her name anyway, so, like, why am I even trying this hard to figure it out? Um, go, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay. I, like, I'm saying that to the game and then also to myself because I need to go to sleep. Um, sleep is good. But, yeah, so... You look at it, it's like, okay, there's a linear progression there. Technically speaking, it is open world, but with linear progression. So I'm wondering if Pokemon's trying to implement the same strategies when it comes to Scarlet and Violet. Are they going to make it an actual open world experience? Like, fully crack the case open world? Or are they trying to go for a linear open world? Which is what fits for Pokemon... In a lot better of a manner, and in a lot more of a manner, a linear open world game. Where it branches off ever so slightly, and things are about the same, and you can tackle objects and tackle things in different orders, because it doesn't matter, and it doesn't affect the storyline. But, you do have to tackle main events in the same order. Because if you're not tackling the main events in the same order... Then where's the story and what's going on with the game? Why is it in shambles? What the fuck's going on? Excuse my language. But, like, that's literally... I mean, that... That will... It will be a cluster fudge. If it's like that. And that's the scary part. Is if they decide to make it a cluster fudge... Oh, no. I know for a diggity darn fact... I will not like it if it's a cluster fudge. I am one of those people that love linearity, linearity, and stories, and, like, finding and thinking about and contemplating about the circumstances of the environment, okay? Ponder is your name. <laughs> well, that was an easy name to choose. Anyways. So, yeah, so actually, this is an interesting tie-in about pondering the universe and figuring out like why things are the way it is and how how what we want to do and how we think and how all humans rationalize issues because i am reading a book currently wow it's almost like there's i'm always reading a book oh wait i'm an introvert duh um it's almost like that's a stereotype of introverts but that is besides the point because I'm reading a book about introverts, okay, and introversion and how how introversion was accepted and not accepted back in the day. Because if we were out here living in the 50s and 60s, introversion was actually something that schools wanted to teach out of us. Like, and get and rid us of introversion because um, things were character based back in the day. So, back in the 19th century, um, things were based off of moral character and who you are as a character. Now, it's a lot more personality based. And you look at things, and things are looked up upon. Not as, hey, you're a good person because you have done X, Y, and Z for us. But this is, like, this is what your personality is like. Like, and there's an ideal person, right? Societally, there's an ideal person. Is there, in, in, in actuality, is there an ideal person? Absolutely not. We have all, our, all of our benefits all of our flaws, all of our issues, all of our strong suits, like, 
There is no ideal person. But there are character traits and personality traits that people find more attractive. People find more um, beneficial. So, aka the ability to be extroverted. I'm not catching that because you're absolute garbage and deserve to die in a hole. Plus, you're a water type. Plus, you're freaking uh, not actually a legendary. Plus, you're the lowest base power legendary. Oh, wait. You're a mythical ratio. I don't know why I said that. I'm trying to be trendy, but it's fine. Um, also, more water types. I'm not playing. I get, I, get, I get that I'm playing as Joy. I, I, I get it. I understand it. But, oh my god, I do not need 800 water types on my team. As much as that's Joy's dream, no. Um, we don't need to be that accurate and have that accurate of a depiction. Uh, anyways, uh, I guess we're going to get shiny, uh, because we are. Um, and that's why. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, extroversion, the ability to exude confidence, the, like... Being able to swiftly dis make decisions, being able to talk amongst a group, talking fast, talking loud, like, being that bustling man or woman, that bustling person, to just get out there, go get him, champ, kind of mentality. And it's interesting to me, because what happens under that assumption becomes, while well, the people who are quiet, the people who are timid, the people who are lost in thought, the people who need affirmation before going forth, the people who choose their words wisely, less brash, less abrasive, are not ideal because they won't get stuff done. When, and that's how it's seen on the outside. Right? Is that these people aren't going to be the people who get stuff done. And it's just like, where is this coming from? Kind of a thing. It's like, yes, just because us, and I'm saying us as, because the primary people who are on YouTube and watching videos and hanging out in their rooms while doing this stuff, the hot, there's a much higher likelihood that you are a introvert rather than an extrovert. Now, I'm basing this off of the Myers personality, Myers-Briggs personality test, right? I am considered an introvert, right? Of course. Now, my introvert to extrovert scale is massive. It is 91% introverted to 9% extroversion. So I strongly, 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 and even like more strongly than strongly, prefer this kind of an interaction. Alone, at the house, recording, hanging out with people, like, and talking and expressing ideas and constructs aloud to myself in my room. This is my recharging station, basically. I get in this chair, and I'm alone by myself, and it's my recharging station. If I'm recording to you guys, it's even better. Because I'm actually verbalizing stuff. Uh, frick it. More troll references. I don't care that there's some stuffs, but... Also kind of ironic, because... You know, there's other things that went on with that. But anyway, um, so yeah, this is like my ideal. This is something that I strive to have, right? This is like, and this is why I've been able to continue this thing for so long. This train has been a train forever because, well, let's face it. This is my recharging station. Ah! <laughs> oh my God! I 
slam my computer. Hold on. That's not what I want to slam. <laughs> oh my god, Charizard's gonna get a freaking kick out of this. And so is Joy. And so is everybody else. Because it's a curious cacti. Um, and there's um, some fun things about this and why this is funny. Um, but... Do we, do we really need to be the devil in the details on this? No, we don't. I explained it in a previous episode. This is freaking hilarious. The lake of rage of all places. The lake of rage of all places. It's going to be the most ironic freaking place ever in this freaking Nuzlocke. We stand. We stand, okay? Freaking Yas Queen. Also Yas King, because you're a, a male. Uh, you can actually tell by the diamonds on the belly. Um, definitely, 100%. Uh, I'm actually being 100% on that. I'm not joking. <laughs> but I'm being facetious. Um, but anyways, the Lake of Rage now, do we, do we really want to go... get caught in this ultra ball because if that's the only thing this cacnea does it'll be that much better gosh dang it cacnea gosh dang it gosh dang it cacnea oh i was oh my god you froze me too jeez louise cacnea yeah cacnea curious i'm still naming you curious i don't care if uh you don't want to be a part of, uh, me. Uh, that sounds weird. Um, I don't care, right? Here, re... Because I am still going to be a fart knocker in your life. Sorry, bitch. Curious. Uh, yas queen. Do it. Okay. We obtained the red scale, which is great. Hi, uh, Lance. You heard my entire thing. Uh, I'm gonna go hide in a corner and be an introverted kid now. Um, yeah, I, no. Um, I don't want to talk to you and your Dragonite at all. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Anyway, fine, I have to. But we can still carry on in our conversation because that's what matters right now. Do you, would you help me investigate? Sure. Well, fly on our slow start, our frozen slow start. Pokemon. But yeah, so basically what I'm saying is like introversion and people that are quite, they're considered not like, not ideal, which is not fair at all and not something that should be placed on people such as like introverts because it's like, and it really shouldn't be placed on anybody at all. But unfortunately, people are always going to try and find ways to allow their judgments to be okay and that's un that's just kind of un an unfortunate reality that we we as people have to live with in life and you know i hate the fact that it, like i said that it is the case but it is like i said forever gonna be that case but i love you all so much you guys got a nice show not smooth at all transition into things but yeah we will see you guys in the next episode when we take on team rocket um thank god we didn't take on uh, the gym leader today i'm glad i forgot about this entire section um but yeah i love you all so very much um and i will see you guys in the next episode if you guys would consider subscribing to the channel that would actually be a very big help considering i literally recorded this at 1 am when i have to open tomorrow morning um because i hung out with my sister and uh went out on our 21st birthday and i actually didn't drink at all which is great i actually thoroughly enjoyed it because i could literally just be like no bye love you have a great day i'm gonna drive sober and have a great rest of my day at home um true introvert anyways love you all bye